Hi, Bill Delaney with Fairfax County Fire Rescue Public Information Office. I'm here with Battalion Chief John Walzer from our Fire Marshal's Office. And today we're doing a, a fireworks demonstration to illustrate just how dangerous fireworks can be. Uh, and so we're actually going to be lighting off some fireworks here uh, with mannequins and watermelons. And Chief Walzer will be explaining in a little more detail exactly what that, what that means. So, uh, Chief Walzer. Good morning. Glad to be here today, and we're going to do a demonstration and see the impact of illegal fireworks. We're going to uh, first see a, a watermelon and the impact that a mortar has on that watermelon, and you'll have a better understanding of, of how dangerous these illegal fireworks can be. I'd like to, to reinforce that the, the fireworks that you can buy in Fairfax County are legal for use here in Fairfax County. A good rule of thumb is if it goes up or blows up, it is illegal in Fairfax County. Our hard work that our uniformed and civilian fire marshals do to make sure that you can have a safe and happy 4th of July really does have an impact on how you can experience that holiday season. So like uh, Chief McNamara said, they are stepping up the enforcement this year, and if you do use an illegal firework in Fairfax County, you could be subject to a $2,500 fine. So we're giving you 2,500 reasons not to use illegal fireworks in Fairfax County. So I think we're getting ready to get started, and, and I think uh, Chief McNamara and his crew are ready to uh, light off some fireworks. Okay, until folks, we're going to have to move back a little bit. So we're going to move back a little bit just to make sure that we're in a safe area. And as you uh, do use the permissible fireworks in Fairfax County, keep in mind you should have 50 feet of clear area where there are no combustibles. Also make sure that there are 25 feet between you and any person. So I'm going to step out of view and we'll take a look and see what's going on. You should never try and relight a faulty firework. Stay clear and we'll go ahead and watch the ignition. So this could be an indication of a, a faulty firework, and, and this is a, a dangerous situation in that we, we don't necessarily know what is going to happen. And that this actually points to the, the fact that some of these fireworks don't have a lot of good quality control, so things like this do happen from time to time. And, and this is a dangerous situation because people would start moving up closer to the firework and then have potential reignition. That's why it's important that, that this particular person is fully protected by their protective equipment, that they have glasses, gloves, and eye protection. So he's removed it from the, the watermelon and made it in a, put it in a safe area. That's important to keep in mind that uh, you should always have a bucket of water to put any used or faulty fireworks into. So we'll see what happens on this go-round. So you can see that initial detonation wasn't the primary detonation. So sometimes if there's a delay between the two, people would move closer to those fireworks and you could see the devastation that would have been uh, caused by that secondary explosion. And we did have embers that we did have embers that went more than 50 feet from that firework. So that's important to keep in mind that, that you have a clear space, that your children and pets are kept back. And something we need to remain respectful of is understanding that people who have light sensitivities or noise sensitivities could be truly impacted by these illegal fireworks. So please make keep that in mind and be respectful of your neighbors. So this next demonstration, again, it will be in a watermelon. It looks like another mortar round. So as they light the firework, we'll take a look.
So again, I think we could see the impact of that secondary explosion that you wouldn't want somebody to walk up to the firework after the first explosion and then potentially be injured by the, the primary explosion. So as we've been talking about fireworks, we do have to understand that many fireworks are illegal in Fairfax County. They can be sold in the buildings that you see at strip shopping centers oftentimes. Those are legal fireworks that you can purchase. That is through the hard work of our uniformed and civilian fire marshals. They make sure that all fireworks that, are, that can be sold in Fairfax County are safe to use and those are the permissible fireworks in Virginia and Fairfax County. So please don't go outside of Virginia to purchase fireworks. Most fireworks that you purchase in out-of-state fireworks stands are not legal in Fairfax County. Like we said before, we're stepping up our enforcement this year to make sure that these fireworks are permissible within the, the county. Again, that's uh, subject to a $2,500 fine, and we're giving you 2,500 reasons not to use illegal fireworks in Fairfax County. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what, what they're doing on this next demonstration. So these are two adults, and again, there's a mortar round that's in the hand of one of the mannequins. So as the technician gets ready to light it, we will see the impact of, of what could happen when a firework discharges in a hand. And like I said before, quality control in some of these fireworks is not there. So I think we can see from that demonstration the impact that a firework could have if it would unintentionally explode in your hand. We always have to keep in mind what, what's important to you, your health, your safety, your property. And when you use an illegal firework, you have the potential to have all of that go away. Also remember that fireworks do not respect property boundaries. You would not want to have a firework cause a fire or damage your neighbor's home. So I think we're getting ready to start another demonstration. So we'll take a look. So for this, so this next demonstration, they're going to have sparklers in two children's hands. And something to keep in mind with sparklers, while they are legal, they can reach temperatures of approximately 2,000 degrees. So that could be very harmful, and children often don't understand where to hold the sparklers, so they could really become injured and their clothing could catch on fire. So even legal fireworks, permissible fireworks, we have to have a good understanding of the dangers that they pose. And always remember to keep a clear area around the fireworks where you're using them. So it's important to keep in mind to have that bucket of water nearby at all times so after a firework is used you can make sure that the firework is disposed of safely. So you can see we have two children and they're each holding sparklers in their hands and these are sparklers that you can buy in any firework stand in Fairfax. So you can see when the, the technician lit the sparkler, the clothes on the child caught on fire immediately. So a child waving a, a sparkler could truly impact another child or even their own clothing could catch on fire. And as we're, we're waiting for the demonstration to end, Jason Pierre-Paul from the New York Giants 
last year injured his hand in a fireworks incident and that was an illegal firework that he was holding that went off and uh, severely injured him so like we spoke earlier if, if you really maintain your you want to maintain your health and safety leave the fireworks demonstrations to the professionals go watch an event in your neighborhood don't discharge fireworks in your in your property and and impact your neighbors We always want to keep in mind how certain people are sensitive to light and noise, and we want to be respectful. So don't discharge fireworks in your neighborhood. As a rule of thumb, if it goes up or blows up, it is not legal to use or purchase in Fairfax County. I think this demonstration also shows some unpredictability with fireworks that these these went out, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will stay out. So it's important to have that bucket of water nearby. If something happens unexpectedly, you have a, an ability to, to extinguish the firework and make, make it safe so that it, it doesn't injure anyone else. So I think that that demonstrates the fireworks that, that have gone off and how they can spread beyond where you predict them to be. So that's why it's important to maintain a distance of 50 feet between combustibles and keeping people 25 feet away from where you discharge the fireworks. And as I said earlier, fireworks don't respect property boundaries. You don't want to impact your neighbors, potentially cause their house to catch on fire or cause any injuries to your family or your neighbors. So I think this demonstration has really showed the impact that fireworks can have on your health and safety. So please make sure you use them safely in the uh, fireworks season. So we want to make sure that you have a happy and safe 4th of July holiday. Well, thanks to Chief Walzer for uh, making all Fairfax County residents aware of, of the significant dangers of fireworks and what's legal and illegal. As you can see, we're wrapping up here. Um, so thank you for joining us. And please, as, as mentioned before, let's leave fireworks to the professionals. Have a safe holiday. Happy holidays.